What's up YouTube? Hermit the Crab coming at you with another World of Warcraft Legion tip. This one is for how to summon the new rare spawn Cosmoth the Hungry and how to get the jellyfish mount. The first one is going to be out in the where the Broken Shore event takes place. Uh, this first location is at 5752 in the Broken Shore and as you can see it's the cape is blocked. Um, I'll put my face cam on this one because so you can see my reaction. Uh, I couldn't really figure out how to get into this part of the map. So I was looking around for a second and then I accidentally hit my spectral site which removed <laughs> the rocks for me and I was able to get on through. As you can see <laughs> I was pretty amazed by that. And uh, I went on in here now and saw towards the end of the cave. I couldn't actually see the item to click but I was able to find the mouse over. So I um, I clicked it at that point, and then this was going to enable me to go ahead and go to the next part. Now you need to do all of these steps in order in order to summon the world spawn uh, Kazimuth the Hungerin. So step two is going to send you to the other side of the island where you're going to talk to this NPC right here. This location is going to be at 3771 on the Broken Shore map and you're pretty much going to let him show him the relic he's going to have a few things to talk to you about I to think I had to talk to him maybe two or three times and um, I didn't really pay attention to it at the time but that's all it is uh, walk away walk back to him probably can just press escape and get through it a little bit quicker but that's all it is for this particular step but then again this is um, once more this is right outside Dalaran down by the, where the Broken Shore event takes place and you can get down there by either falling maybe down to the water I'm a demon hunter I had the ability to glide uh, what you do is completely up to you now the next step is actually going to take us all the way out to Azuna the location on the map is going to be 3735 uh, it took me a second to find this one but once I found it it's really well hidden as you can see here on the map this is where you're going to drop down in here, the little hole that could never notice unless you knew it was there. Uh, this is, and you're going to want to go over here. This is the very first orb that you're going to click. Now, I didn't find any of this information on my own. I did find, I did find a whole bunch of the uh, tips, a bunch of uh, posts, uh, and used a bunch of different information from Wowhead. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of where I found everything. But this is, I just put everything together so everybody can know what it all looks like. So this is the first location. This is me uh, looking at the orb, seeing what exactly happened. And I'm going to move on to the second location, which is out in Stormheim. Now, some of these actually have traps, which this one will out in Stormheim. This one's located at 3275 on the Stormheim map. So once you get out here, some of these will actually have traps, so you can't just be st logged out here and camp them. I tried to go right past this uh, this NPC and uh, loot the item and as you'll see here very shortly it didn't work out that well for me I, th I believe they have this in place so you can't just sit here and camp the orbs uh, I kinda like that so I came back in um, once I came back through you'll see in the next clip I just rested on the other side of him then got the orb and then uh, was able to get out of combat with Shadow Meld afterwards. So I'll let you guys see that here just one moment. Then again, this once again, this is out in Stormheim. Alright, and this is where I'm talking about the mob. Still, I probably could have killed him, but I went ahead and feared him here got out of the cave and just hit shadow meld for the easy exit all right so the next place that we're going to head out to is actually val -Shara. the location on the val -Shara map is going to be 4180 on the map and i'll show you that here in just one moment right there is where we're headed to next this is another one i had some difficulty locating but as you can see right here on the map, this is what it looks like. It's hidden back behind the tree. You fall underneath the bushes, right ya. Yeah. And down to the secret area. You can actually see the little uh, 
I guess a little wisp is kind of guiding you the way here. I had to kill an NPC here to get to the other side, but it wasn't too difficult. It's only a 110 elite. It sh most classes should be able to handle it just fine. And I believe, uh, I, I don't have 100% on this, but I believe what everybody's reward is um, based on their, I guess, region. It could be either EU or NA, whether you get the mount or the the pet from this. But you guys will see later on what I actually got from, from the entire line here. All right, next we're going to head out to uh, 3272 on the Broken Shore map again, as you can see. If you just looked at the little Broken Shore area, this is where it would be. Uh, we're going to swim. We had to swim off to the cave where we did get almost fatigued, but we'll, it will come back to us here in just one second. So don't be worried when you're going out there to do that. Um, get inside the cave, and you will see here shortly where the orb is to click. One more time. This is 3272 on the Broken Shore map just outside of Dalaran. Alright, and our next stop is actually going to be back to Azuna. We're heading back to 5913 coordinates in Azuna. As you can see, this is the area that you want to be in right here. And you're looking for another obvious little, well I guess it's not, not so obvious crack <laughs> in the world. We'll fall down in here to a little cave. I believe this was another place I had a difficulty locating the orb. But I will show you guys the location here in just one moment. Actually tabbed out there to look at Wowhead. And you will see it right there. Alright. Our next stop is going to be all the way on the outside of Stormheim. Um, it's on the little island over there. If you're doing World Quest, you'll be familiar with this area. It is 6714 on the map, on the world map out there. Um, once you get out there, you'll see this uh, stone sculpture. You'll go down underwater, and you will see this shark down here. And the cave entrance is going to be right below that shark. One more time, it is 6714 on the map out in Stormheim. I guess it's 6714 on the world map, but it's in Stormheim. This one just took a second to get down into. you come out of the water come right up over here and there's the next orb click on that one and then we're gonna head on out to high mountain now this is gonna be 5638 in high mountain fairly simple to do um, I went around the snowy uh, the snowy valley up north and then dropped down to where this location is and then you can see it's hidden in the bushes here. Go up here, and the orb will be found right in the little uh, the little bonehead right here. Bonehead, ha ha ha. <laughs> Next location is going to be back over in Azuna, the third location in Azuna. It's going to be at 5326. Once again, very well hidden, as you can see. But this where it is is on the map. You cannot see where to go until you know exactly where to go. And then you fall right down there in the cave. Just like that. Now walk up over here. This is probably one of the more difficult ones to actually see. Unless you know where it is. So even once you're down here, you got to find the orb itself. Um, it took me a second of wandering around before I could locate it. And it's actually right here in these little bushes. You just have to be right at the right angle in order to be able to see it. And I just saw it right there. Actually, I guess I didn't. I saw it, but I didn't see it then. 
but it's going to be right here in the little in the little plants. Right here in this little spot. Move a comma. There we go. All right, and next we're actually going to go all the way down to the Eye of Ajara on the other side of where Kazuma the Hungarian actually spawns, and it's a it's a uh, sunken ship off the coast of Eye of Ajara, and this is kind of one of the the better the more well hidden ones because even once you get in the ship, you're not sure where else to go unless you know you have a video such as this to show you. So you keep going. Um, you're in the sunken ship at this point. You're like, okay, well, maybe it's in here. Maybe I did something wrong. You're in the right spot. Just keep looking. You will see there's other places to go. Explore a little bit. So here you want to swim up. You want to swim through the little cracks in the ship. As you can see, more openings over here. You swim back down. And it looks like another dead end, but always swim through the seaweed. It's always blocking something. And then we come up to another hidden cave. And once you come up to the top, you'll see exactly where you need to loot. I'll show you here shortly. I had difficult look at locating this one as well. A little difficult time. It was hidden over here. There it is. Alright. And our next stop is going to be back over on the Broken Shore map. Once again at 3731 where we talked to that orc NPC before. Heading back over there. We're going to interact some... Well, not interact. We'll come up. We're going to see some people over here trying to complete the quest as well which you can't blame them, but I was pretty sure that once someone posted the information about this on Wildhead, I was one of the first people in the realm to do it. After that, anyway. Anyways, so I want to hit that, hit that orb right there. He's going to do some more RPing, as you can tell right there. And at this point, I will show you on my map that I will have the world quest to now get the pet. Now, this is, as I said earlier, it's still unsure whether you can, it's uh, like the first person to do it gets them out, or it's, um, it's random, or you get a different one each week, or really what it is. But that is how you spawn the boss and open the world quests for Cosmo the Hungering out in the Eye of Ajara. Now the next step for you two is just to fly right on down there. As you can see that I have the world quests. Once we get out there, you'll see everybody waiting. I will show you the location on the map of where you need to go here in just one second. Fly down there. I was fortunate enough to, by the time I got down there, as you can see, a lot of people were waiting because they still are unsure what they are waiting for or how to kill this boss. Or not even what to, how to kill this boss, but how to get the rare spawn. So we're sitting here. I have the world quest at this point. We're killing it. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody on NA actually has the jellyfish mount or the fathom dweller, if you'd like to call it. But I do now have the hungering claw. Or I should say I did have it. I did actually put it in a cage and put it up on the auction house, and it sold quickly. Uh, but that's pretty much it. You'll have the world quest. You'll kill the boss. As you can see, it completes here. I will get the item in my bags. Just automatically ob obtain it. See right here, Hungering Claw. We'll go ahead and use that bad boy. And I will get show you all how it looks here in just a second. If you liked my video and you appreciate the time I took to uh, put this all together for you all, please hit me with a subscribe. Hit that like button down below. Also, check out my Twitch channel. I stream other regularly, play, play a lot of World of Warcraft, and a lot of other games as well. Once again, thanks for watching.
to the Illidari. Victory is ours. Glory to the Illidari. Victory is ours.